So I'm sure you have all heard the saying, you're assured of two things in life. One, paying taxes, and two, dying. So we are going to do one of the two things here. We're going to figure out taxes and what we have to pay for a corporation. So the first thing that you need to do before you do an adjustment for taxes is you need to look at your other adjusting entries, all the others that you have made, and you need to post those adjustments just like you always do. And once you've posted all of those, that will bring every account up to date that you have. After all adjustments have been made, everything is up to date, except for the taxes, which we're going to do. So we have up-to-date balances. So we want to calculate what the income is before taxes, before, so that we can come up with the adjustment. And we're going to do a trial balance that's called an adjusted one after all the adjusting entries have been posted except for tax. And you guys have this in your work paper. So this is the adjusted trial balance. And again, we are using this simply to come up with income so that we can compute what our tax adjustment is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter all these account titles. And they're not all here. They have it kind of cut off because it couldn't all fit. But you have this in your paper. So all account titles. And then we're going to enter the account balances of all accounts except for tax expense because we haven't made that adjustment yet. So every account balance here comes from the general ledger and has been updated and brought up to date from the adjustments. So that is the second step. The third step is calculating the total account balances of income statement credits. Okay, so we're just using this. We're not making sure our trial balance equals yet. We're just using this to come up with income. So from income summary on down are the income statement accounts, as you know. So we're doing just these credits, these four credits, when we add them up. And when I do that, I would get $635,345.90. Again, adding these four along here. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to total all the debits. Okay. So income summary on down here, I'm going to add that up. And I would get $531,826.93. And then the fifth step is I'm going to subtract those debits, those expenses, from our income. And if I do that, I would get an income before tax adjustment of $103,518.97. That is what I owe taxes on. That's the amount of taxable income that I have to pay tax on. So let's figure out a for a few things more about taxes to do the adjustment. So the U.S. is on a progressive tax system. And what that means is that different tax rates are applied to different levels of net income. The more money I make, the higher my tax rates start to be. So it says each tax rate and taxable income amount on one line of a tax table is called a tax bracket. And I'll show you what that means here shortly. So people are in different tax brackets. Companies are in different tax brackets because we're progressive. And the tax rate associated with the bracket that you're in is called a marginal tax rate. So let's see what that means as it relates to a tax rate schedule. So here is what a schedule looks like. And if you want to mark this on your handout, you can. Each of these lines is a different bracket then. So there's a bracket that's fifty to $75,000 of taxable income. Taxable income really coming from your line of the tax return that we won't get into here. There's a tax bracket that's 10 million to 15 million, 15 million to 8. So each one of these lines representing taxable income is a different bracket. And each of these rates associated with that bracket 
is the marginal tax rate. So the 100 to 335,000 bracket has a marginal tax rate of 39%. Okay? So that's just kind of defining everything. So let's show you how to do this for one of these. So if I have net income before taxes, which we just computed on the previous page in your handout, 103,518.97, I go and I find which bracket I belong, belong in. So it's over 100,000, but not over 335. So it's in here. So I take, and it says I'm going to pay this amount plus 39% of any amount over a hundred thousand. Okay? So I take a hundred and three five eighteen minus a hundred thousand and I get three thousand five hundred eighteen. And I'm gonna pay the marginal rate on that thirty-nine percent. And that's thirteen seventy two point forty. So on just that 3518 the amount above 100 grand, I'm paying that much marginal tax, okay, 39%. And then I'm going to take the minimum in that bracket, add what I just computed, and that is the total amount of federal income tax that I have for the year. So that is my expense for the year, what I O for the year, okay? For the entire year. And just for those of you that are interested in understanding this further, this 22,250 really represents 15% of the first 50,000, 25% of the next $25,000 of earnings, 34% of the next 25,000 of earnings. And if you calculate that, then you would get 22,250. So that's kind of how this whole progressive system works. So my entire federal income tax expense, 22,622,40. So to journalize the adjustment for this, the key is this. So I owed Keep this number in mind, 22,622.40. If you look in the tax expense all year long, I've been paying in because I have to make estimated payments throughout the year. So the first quarter I paid five grand, the second quarter five, five, five. I've paid $20,000 already and recorded the expense. I credited cash. I debited expense when I made those payments to the IRS. So since I know that I need it to be 22,622,40, which is messed up on this slide, so this really ought to be, since I'm at 20,000, this should be 26,22,40, not 36, 22, 40. But I'm going to do whatever it takes to get my adjusted balance to that tax that I had computed. So I need it to get to this number. I'm now seeing what the issue is. This, when it's added together, is 23, 6, 22, 40. So fix that on your sheet if you need to. That should be 23, 6, 22, 40 if I add those. So sorry, let's go back then. So I've paid 20,000 in already. I need it to be 23. So my adjustment then to expenses 3622.40. That's how much I still owe and would send with my tax return. So I'm going to debit the expense, federal income tax expense, which is a normal debit balance. And I'm going to credit federal income tax payable because I still owe 362240. And then it goes ahead and shows you how to post that, which is no different than normal. Once I have posted then my adjustment, I am going to go back and complete 
the adjusted trial balance. So I had already done all of this with the exception of the federal income tax payable and the federal income tax expense. Okay, so I'm just going to add those balances, add all my debits, and add all my credits and make sure that they equal and go ahead and prove rule total that trial balance, which is nothing different than what you've done in the past. So that's completing it. So first thing I do, I post all of my adjustments. So everything is up to date with the exception of the tax. Then I do an adjusted trial balance not totaling it, but just to help me compute what my income is before tax. Once I know my income before tax, I calculate what my tax expense ought to be for the entire year using that tax rate table. Once I know my total expense, I look at what is already in expense for the year and I adjust to bring it up to what I had computed. Make that adjustment, post it, and complete your adjusted trial balance. So let's make sure, how does a trial balance serve as a checklist for preparing adjusting entries? You can examine each account and make sure it's been brought up to date. In what order can the adjusting entries be journalized by the order the accounts appear in the trial balance? Is the order we do the adjustments? Which accounts are totaled to determine net income? It's everything from the income summary on down. So all the debits and all the credits, with the exception of federal income tax expense, because we're trying to come up with income before tax. What is the bracket minimum tax and marginal tax rate of the 25% tax bracket? So if we go back to that table, For the 25% tax bracket, it's for income 50 to 75,000, and 7,500 is the amount of minimum for that. So 7,500, marginal tax rate 25%. So that is section 15.4. And again, that is considerably easier than real life is on computing that.